Hey guys, so last week in the Algebra 1 Part A message board, or discussion board I should say, we uh, did how many, if you paint the outside of a 6x6 six six cube, how many uh, cubes would have, how many blocks essentially would have no paint on them, one, style, one side painted, two side painted, that whole thing. So uh, when you give nerds toys, they make nerdy toys. So I made a 6x6 six six block, and as you can see, the the black ones represent ones that only have one side shaded because if you look at the sides you, it's a different set the uh, white ones represents two sides shaded so you have this side and this side and the orange ones of course represent the three sides so uh, essentially the orange ones are your corners now inside the set so inside all six of these layers you can see if you look down a little bit that there are green ones well the green ones represent the ones that are completely invisible from all sides when you have all the parts together so uh, what I'm going to do is I made it so it kind of rolls out a little bit so you can see there's six layers there let's see if I can get to circle back around without snapping um, so in this case, and I knew it went, eventually one would break off, so you can see there's four layers, one, two, three, four, and each one of those layers is a four by four. So what I'm going to do, and that would be all the green ones, by the way, um, so what I'm going to do is take a pause on the video, and then when I come back, I'll have all of them broken out into a little group so you can see if your answer was correct from last week. All right, everybody, you might have seen the screen flash back on there for a second. I hit the mouse while I was taking apart all the blocks, and my kids were talking to me about them. Um, anyway, so uh, what we're dealing with here, remember the original setup was we have a 6x6 six six cube. I didn't realize it at the time, but I picked the only cube that has the same surface area and volume. That's not confusing at all. But anyway, we took a cube that was 6x6, six six and we painted all the outside parts, and then we wanted to analyze uh, whether the blocks, once we took them apart, would have one side painted, no sides painted, uh, two sides painted, or three sides painted. We also had the area of three sides or more. And by that I mean more than three sides. I don't know why I said three sides or more. More than three sides. And since the corner pieces, the orange ones, were the most exposed pieces, you can't ha have more than three sides in order to make the cube. Otherwise, you're going outside the shape. It'd have one underneath it or on top of it, one or the other, and then two sides will be open. So more than three sides, uh, that's a goose egg. There's none of those. Now let's look at uh, the shapes for, or the other numbers or types of blocks to get there. So I made the the green set. That would be my ones that were inside. And you remember there was four by, uh, four groups of 16. So it's a four by four by four. So really it was the actual size of the cube um, down two, so uh, you had six six to the third power would be the number of blocks in the big cube, and then if you subtract two from six and you get four, four to the third power would give you the number that's on the inside. That works pretty much all the way up, by the way. Um, anyway, I ended up with uh, an eight by eight here, so I can say pretty strongly that the number of zero sides painted would be 64 hidden inside there. From there, we go into the biggest one of all, which is the one side painted group. And this is kind of a beast and it's falling apart. I must have used these blocks a ton of times just because of the fact that they no longer hold together. But it's a good background color for lots of stuff, so it is what it is. In this case, I end up with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by, I think this is 12. Yeah, it's an 8 by 12, which makes my total number of one side painted. 96 and that makes sense because it has to cover all of the outside it's pretty much every face of the major cube gets almost all of its pieces from those 96 so and you also have uh, a couple other com areas where that applies so the next set down would be the white ones these are our two sides painted groups so in this I'm dealing with a 6 by 8 so it looks like my two sides painted group would be 48 and finally I'm dealing with the three sides painted group which is my smallest group other than the more than three sides essentially you have them all on the edges and just at the the corners of each the three sided corners of each of the edges really of that cube so you end up with a total of eight so in our big gigantic uh, six by six cube we ended up with zero or zero sides painted being 64 of those one side painted we have 96, two sides painted we had 48, and three sides painted we had 8, and of course there are none that have more than three sides. So there's the resolution, sometimes I don't give it to you on discussion, and uh, this time I did.